Hello there, this is Only One Kenobi, Only One, and this is, uh, you know, I'm currently having a lot of fun with the barge, ladies and gentlemen. If you are new around here, subscribe to my channel. I'm nearly on 1,000 subscribers, you know, so I, I cover a lot of different things on my channel, but one of the things I've been doing is expanding my characters, the characters I own, my, my collection of loose figures for this barge, you know. It's awesome, you know, there's so much potential with it, and one of the things I've been doing is growing my band. I never actually thought that I could get him on board, but he's on and he fits so nicely. Last time I did a video, I had bought myself a Max Rebo because I felt the place that I felt it needed some music on there, you know. I had a lovely sort of collection of, you know, I've got pod racers, as you can see there. I've got some Imperials, I've got some, you know, smugglers, gangsters, bounty hunters, yada, yada, but I felt it needed a band, the band, you know, there's only one band for Jabba and that's Max Rebo and Galactic Blast or whatever they're called, but, that's the name of the song, actually. But I managed to acquire... This is one of the Max Rebo pairs from the uh, 1998 Power of the Force, but I managed to acquire the other two, and here they are. The other two sets, I mean. So that's Barquin Dan and Droopy McCool, followed by Sice Noodles and Yo Yowza. So they're going to fit on, but the thing is, I just wanted to show you what was happening before I try and fit them on, because I really am going to struggle for space now. Before I... Do that let's just have a look down and see who we've got there we've got uh, lots of action here we've got a little bit of garand in there and dengar 25 percent what's he called now i've forgotten his name um oh my god you've got woha in the back there and of course um oh, come on come on what's his name i don't want to stop recording I, I, this is the pressure of recording this i can't believe it um you're probably all shouting at the screen. I cannot remember. Tobias Beckett, god damn it. Tobias Beckett, Bosk and Greedo. And here is the main audience chamber. And as I say, I never thought I'd fit him on. But I did. But I really do think now that I will be pushing it to get all these guys on. I've already stated in my previous video that this guy, I'm not that fussed on him as a band member. Anyway, he's all right, but the actual figure is the least of my fate the least favorite figure i'd say but the others look really great and i've got to get them on it i certainly want to get this bith on there that'd be so cool barking dan brother of um figuring dan from the cantina band but what my what my plan is i'm gonna to have to rejig everything is to get maybe a couple of them behind max in the back i've got a few people just hanging out as you can see ponda barbers there with or a sing and then you've got Zutton there. I just thought it was cool that, you know, like you can in some venues, you can get people behind the band in front of the band. Depends on the venue. I like the idea of people just watching from the rear, but I think I might have to get a few of the band members in the back there. Or maybe the band members could be mixed <laughs> with the people watching, you know, like a real live venue, man. It's just cool. And I never, and I've said this in my previous, in one of my previous videos, I wanted no obstruction of Jabba. I wanted Jabba to just be seen. I know you've got these pod racers here, but they're so they're kind of small in stature, aren't they? That it doesn't really obscure him. But I'm tempted, if I can't fit her anywhere else, to get her. Maybe here. Dancing, performing, singing for him. Taking centre stage of the whole diorama. Because, you know, you get that in venues, you know? Certainly, like, restaurants, you know, the wherever. Certain live music venues the band are on the move you know they're not necessarily in one place they could move around they could mix into the crowd so there you go so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop there i apologize about tobias i forgot his name temporarily and the pressure got to me um let's see if i see what i can do oh yeah if you want to see if you're new to my channel again subscribe but if you haven't seen what i've got on the roof then here we are i've got all the goons on the top there we have nikto there standard nikto followed by vizam woof Klaatu, Kithaba, so that's what I've got on the roof there. I tell you what, I did have this idea the other day. I thought maybe we could have a rooftop gig, you know. Um, get back to where you once belong. Just like these guys had one final gig, you know, on the roof of Abbey Road. Not Abbey Road, Apple, the Apple Boutique, you know. I thought maybe we could have a little bit of, uh, I, might do, I might save that for a separate video. What would it be like to have the band setting up on the roof we might get rid of one of the sails that might be quite cool and then we could have a rooftop gig <laughs> how about that for a future video 
Hit the like button if you want to see that. We will do that for you. All right, then. Thank you for listening. I'm going to cut there and see if I can get this band on the barge. Boom. All righty. So I think I've done it now. I won't lie to you. It's a lot more crowded now, but I have everybody on. Minus one. Sorry, one band, one band member had to go. Let me just let me get lighter, a bit more brighter there. I hope that's not too bright. So this is the setup. You see, it is a lot busier. But the whole focus, the focal point now is size noodles. There. Do, do, do I need that light on? I think I'll turn that off. This the focal point is size noodles. I'm moving Zutton to the front now. He was in the back somewhere, and he just looks mesmerised. I mean, I've been, I've done gigs where I've had fellas who look like that. Oh, it's a good song, that mate. Like that one. <laughs> He's just sort of watching size noodles doing her thing. Gonna move her out for a minute. So what I did was. Because it's very, very tight. It's almost a bit too busy. I always, I promised myself I wouldn't, my barge wouldn't be too clustered. But that's what it would look like with a full band on, just to give you an idea. Because this guy here, Droopy McCool, is a big guy. So he fills up a significant chunk of space there. I do like the idea. I've moved Boda to the back because I want this guy. He's a better looking figure. And I prefer that species. So I've moved Barquin down to the front there to kind of do his duet with or play alongside. Max, the thing about... Um, Boda is that he is quite a sort of bright orange and the, the, the skin is not as it's not like it's not like the uh, like not not Greedo green Greedo green he's more bright I don't know a bit too vibrant but anyway so he's just in the back now he's, he's still part of the band and I like the idea of having people at the back just watching so Ponda Barber's playing a good role here <laughs> he just looks like he's Loving it, you know, mesmerised by the band, and obviously Aura Singh is still in there, which is nice. The Imperials are having their meeting still. It must be pretty noisy in there, although it might be an acoustic session. You know, I'm sure it won't be too loud. I've got Maz Kanata on there. She's still on, I'm afraid. I do like Maz, and I'm going to put Sai back on in a minute. Let me just put Max back in. So Max Rebo's there. Unfortunately, you know, with Sai on there, she's quite tall. She does kind of cover... Max a little bit depends on where you put her. So obviously from that angle she is being covered, but you can have it. You could have her here. You could have her just a little bit off to the right there. But overall, you get the idea. As I say, she is the band leader, so technically everyone would be looking at her. Uh, these two are certainly. And the pod racers, I've shifted them along because, as I say, I don't want Jabba covered. So Fett, who was in the doorway, is now gone. He's just a little bit further out the room looking in because. It's almost like you get the impression Fett does like good music because he was <laughs> in Jabba's Palace, as you'll remember, he was sort of watching watching on as it was all happening then in that live session in Return of the Jedi. So there you go. But as you can see, it's very clustered. I think the camera, I don't know if it's giving it... So you could have Cy Snootles, maybe. If I have it, you could have a... Uh, which would be better, actually. But he's well too close then. You'd have to move him out. So there's options, you know what I mean? That's what I'm going to do anyway. I'm going to... I'm going to go away now because it is at capacity. Well, not completely capacity. You can put figures all in here. You know, you could have it packed full of them. But I'm not going to go that far. What I mean is that I have shown you there what I had before. Plus one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to scale it down a bit. I'm going to really take a good look at it and see who I really need on there and who I don't need. And the rest can go in the Jabba's playset. Which brings me to this guy here. I do feel bad. I feel so sorry for this guy now. I've been so... Uh, negative about the figure. I've got to let me be clear on this. It's the figure I don't really like. The character is pretty cool. I do like the character actually. Although, you know, he, he's just this kind of a special edition invention. Was he necessary? Not really. But um, he's got a good singing voice. I'll give him that. But he he cannot fit on there. It's it's too hard to fit all that lot on there. So he's he's had to take a step back. But I might have him set up with a few other members. Maybe. We'll keep Max on and uh, Barquin Dan and Snootles can be in my Jabba Palace diorama whenever I get hold of that. Which I'm looking forward to getting that because it does have on board a reuse and a hand carbonite. So I'm looking forward to that. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. That is the barge. That's how it's looking now with all those characters minus this guy. I'm so sorry, Joe Yowzer. But you're just going to have to just miss this journey, this session, this gig for, for now. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen, Jabba's Barge. It is um, a lot of fun setting figures up into a diorama. Um, but the challenge is when you get so many and you want to have them on board, where do they all go? Well, as I say, the, the, there's a lot of space in this chamber, but um, 
especially when some of these characters are as big as they are, it's difficult. But there you have it. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed that video. Stay tuned for more. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and if you would like to see a Cy Snootles Max Rebo Galactic Blast on the rooftop of a Tatooine tour for the, uh, for the future, then let me know if you'd like to see that. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Yeah, one last shot. I've got her in the right place now. I'm happy with where she is now, because if I have it, <laughs> she, she's no longer blocking anybody, and she's kind of on one on two levels, on a mezzanine there. Look at that. But that gives her a kind of an angle. Look at that. I love it. Looking up to the skies, the stars, man. No pun intended. Singing her heart out. There's the band, man. They're rocking and rolling. There you go. Finally fitted all three pairs, except for this guy. Oh, sorry, man. On the barge. Joe Yowser, but he'll be back. Ma! Ma!